I will start with you, Bobby, on this one. And uh, thoughts on Will Fuller to uh, Miami Dolphins. Well, Fuller was drafted by George Godsey, who was the offensive coordinator in Houston when they drafted him. So there is some familiarity there. So obviously he likes Will Fuller enough to, you know, convince the coaching staff to bring him over. So there is some familiarity with that offense a little bit. I know they're doing the two, two head monster at offensive coordinator, which, you know, whoever, but I think Will Fuller, listen, he's a great compliment for a guy like Devontae Parker. Parker is a more of a physical one-on-one -on -one outside wide receiver that can get those tough contested catches and Will Fuller could take the top off. So it's going to be on Tua. Can Tua really, support two outside wide receivers with Mike Chiziki. Then you got Preston Williams coming back. So I think it's a lot of mouths to feed in, in an offense that hasn't proven they can throw for volume. But I will say this, Miles Gaskin, this is kind of good news. If Brown's the only guy they bring in who's been a career backup, that means Gaskin could be back as the lead back and he's someone to monitor because he had a lot of good weeks for this team overall. So I think Will Fuller, to me, I'm not sure if I'm going to be buying him. It's going to depend on ADP. Savon Ahmed too, should be back as well. And, and uh, even a three-headed monster. Look, there's also talks that the Dolphins might go and, and uh, make a move for Najee Harris early and, and pair up to a Najee Harris potentially there as well. So we'll see what happens. 